Hi, and welcome to another episode of our e-learning series. And today, as part of Managing Workload, we'll be talking about rosters. And it's not a rooster, but it's a roster. So let's start. What's a roster and what does it do? So a roster is a list or a plan showing turns of duty or leave for individuals or groups in an organization. So sometimes um, when you say duty or leave, it just means who is expected to be at this certain time doing this certain task or who is not expected to be doing a specific task at a given time. So who is working when and who are off duty? That's sometimes another way of describing what a roster is. But just to give you a little bit of an example, you may have a teaching roster. So this is a list of teachers who are teaching specific subjects. So the name of the subject, who is the teacher um, in charge and when are they teaching that specific subject? So if they're not on the list at that particular time, that means they could be doing something else or they might not be at the campus. The other example that I can give you is a farm duty roster. So who is doing the um, cleaning of the general shed area? Who is doing inventory of the products? Who is um, taking the sheep or the cow into the paddocks and stuff like that? You may also have a medical staff nursing staff roster. So in hospitals, this is pretty common. Who's the doctor in charge? What's the surgery um, team looking like? Who are the members of the surgery team? What time are they doing the surgery? Who will take the afternoon off? who will be sleeping to rest, who is doing the shift for the morning, things like that, or even in the weekend. But I am very, very commonly um, involved in preparing the kitchen roster when I used to work in a small office before. Um, it's just because it's a common issue. Nobody wants to tidy up. So the way to solve the problem is to create a kitchen roster. So there you go. So just let me tell you what the elements of a roster um, are. So what are included in a roster? So normally, typically, the, it would have the names of the team members with or without the photo. So if you have a big team and not everybody sees everyone almost every day, it would be helpful to put a face to the name. So by putting a photo beside the name, that will help a lot. But if everyone knows who the people in the team are, then it, it's an option for you to provide the photo. So come up with a plan. So plan is what are you rostering each member for? Are you rostering uh, each member according to a specific time of the day? So they call it the shift times or what specific days are they going to do those specific tasks that I've mentioned previously? So is this person going to do this task only on a Monday? Is this person going to be in charge of delivering the services on a Wednesday? Um, or in terms of uh, rostering the specific tasks itself, is this person on only going to be uh, mopping the floor, but nothing else? Is this person going to refill or replenish paper in the copier? So those are task-based um, task based assignments, sorry. So come up with a plan. Now, in terms of planning itself, maybe it, it, it's a good idea to nominate a leader Okay, so who is going to be looking after everyone else on that specific day? And what can a leader do? Because sometimes when you nominate a leader, that person has a tendency to either do the tasks on your behalf because they just don't like the way you do it, or they may even ask you to do certain tasks that you're not supposed to do. So really, when you do your planning with your team members, each person's role is clearly defined. All right, so that's my tip. And then the roster may or may not be color coded. So what do I mean by that? Because if you are just looking at the table, uh, a big, big spreadsheet, for example, and it will kind of drown you or even blind you or maybe confusing sometimes, but color coding it um, occasionally helps in creating a sense of order into what the task is or who is in charge of doing that particular task. So it's up to the team to decide. So I got here some examples from the internet. So I don't really know what this is all about, but just to give you a random idea, 
So color coding on this bigger shape gives you an indication that from X time, which I assume is an early morning time slot, to somewhere around the middle of the day, this is the task to be done. And it's probably color coded yellow, and it means something to the team. Probably it's a, a person's um, color, so they know that this person is doing this particular task from X time to end time. And then the other example is, you know where there are gaps. I assume the pink and the blue non-labeled um, time slots are gaps or they mean something else to the team. Right, so that's probably a roster prepared using a specific program. And it's not just a simple Word document or Excel spreadsheet, but there are actually specific software designed to help you prepare your roster. So check with your team or your management if you have such a program or software and whether it would be beneficial for you to acquire such a software. But if you don't have that fancy software available, this looks like a simple spreadsheet. Um, columns, cells have been prepared. So we've got here, I can see the name Anthony and Caroline and Charles, Christine, and I can read, read this, but it's probably a Darla. And then you have a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on top, and then AM, PM, and specific times during the, the morning. RDO here means regular day off, so we don't expect to see Anthony on a Thursday and a Friday. And if you will see here at the bottom of the day, of the day there's the specific date. So that means on this particular date, Anthony is not around, but we can expect Darla to be available. Caroline won't be around as well because it's a, a, a weekend. So this is a simpler version of the one that is more color coded here on the right, simply because this is prepared using a spreadsheet. So check with your team in terms of what is available. And if you're happy to do it using the fancy method or the simple method, or just randomly write it on a piece of paper, that's fine, as long as everyone is clear about what is happening in the roster. So we, I have here a little example of some facts and who are the, the people involved and what are the tasks to be done and there are certain time frames as well. So my exercise for you would be creating your own roster using simple Word document or Excel spreadsheet. So you start by creating a table. So select how many columns and how many rows. So it depends on if you're doing it the daily or weekly or in terms of per person, what each person is doing and or in terms of the time. So it just depends on how detailed you want the roster to be. So I have here some people that are involved. I've got here Cynthia, Louise, Prue, Kate, Sam, and a general task that everyone um, of the girls need to do. and tasks that each person will only do on certain days. So just for example, Cynthia will do Mondays and Wednesdays of so clean the kitchen bench. And the partner for this task, if I'm not mistaken, would be Prue. So Prue is in charge of doing the same task, but on a different date, on a Tuesday and a Thursday. Louise will be handling the incoming mail distribution to team and logging it into the mail register on Thursdays and Tuesdays. And Sam, on the other hand, will do the same task on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Kate is the only person that seems to be uh, the preferred person to do the daily general tidy up of the reception area and meeting rooms, ensuring that magazines are available, coffee tables, meeting rooms have a jug and water glass ready for them. Um, and then here at the bottom, I put here, Cynthia would be at reception at lunchtime on Monday, Louise, Tuesday, Kate, Wednesday, Sam Thursday, proof Friday, and I put here a note, swaps are only allowed in an emergency because <laughs> sometimes people have a tendency to escape their duties for some reason or another. So this is an example of when you are in a team meeting, you will be planning, deciding, brainstorming on what each person can contribute to the team in terms of the duties and when they are able to do that. So if everyone else is happy, um, Cynthia is clear what she needs to do. Louise knows that she can only do stuff on Tuesdays, Thursdays. Um, Prue, Kate, Sam have all agreed in terms of what else that they need to do. Then that's the time you put them all together in that Word document or Excel spreadsheet. 
So in terms of reflection and application, what does this mean for us? So rosters will create a sense of teamwork, responsibility, ownership to tasks, and accountability. So I really suggest that nominating a team leader to prepare a monthly or weekly roster in consultation with the members is a good way to do it. And we decide on any other rules for changes or cancellation of the duties that are included in the roster and ensure that everyone is happy with the roster. So just like the Power Puff Girls, each one has its own strengths and they all contribute to a making of a very wonderful and powerful team. So that is my short lesson for today. If you require more help, I can help you create your roster tailor-made for your team's needs. So contact me at scribenotes101 at gmail.com. Visit my website. The details are there. Or link up with me through Facebook. So again, this is Mimi saying have a great day. And I hope you start making your roster.